Each year in the World Energy Outlook, we focus on a country. For example, last year, we carried out an analysis of Russia. And this year, we chose Iraq. Why Iraq? Because, first of all, the country is getting out of uh, decades of uh, conflict, wars, and other problems. Second, Iraq has huge potential of oil and gas. And as such, it can make a major difference in the global energy system. What we did is that together with the Iraqi government and other Iraqi authorities, as well as the industry, we first look at the Iraq energy sector. Not only oil and gas, but also electricity in the country. Today, an Iraqi citizen receives about eight hours of electricity on average, which is in the middle of this richness of energy, unbelievable. So we look how the Iraqi energy system domestically can evolve in the next years to come, electricity, water, transportation, and others. But we also look the oil and gas supply picture on a field by field basis how much Iraq oil production can grow in the next years to come, and what are the requirements for that. And as a result of this growth of the production of oil, the revenues coming from the oil exports will transform the country's economy in a substantial way. We look what are the implications of a Iraq oil production growth for the global oil supply, but we also look at what happens if Iraq production does not grow as much as we hope to see, as much as Iraqi government would like to see, what are the implications for this for the global oil markets?